Well, hello everyone, Mr. Chiefs here. This is going to be a more uh, freeform, short video because, well, when you need to edit two videos in a week because you're going to be out of town, it doesn't give you a lot of time to do something amazing like I usually do. Or at least I hope that it's usually amazing. Either way, here we are in Blender. This is a new project scene. I just want to show you something that a lot of people probably already know. But if you're new to Blender and you might not have figured this out yet, it's some 3D cursor magic, okay? So let's just delete everything, add in a cube, as goes the ritual, and, well, move it around. The menu we're looking at, the thing I want to show you, is the Shift S hotkey, which pulls up this little pie menu, and it's super special because it allows you to move around whatever object you have selected and the 3D cursor. Because normally, to move the 3D cursor, right, it's just this very loose shift, right click, and it's sort of dumb because it's hard to move something like this in 3D if you don't have the tools that you usually have to move a 3D object. So you're just shift right clicking and hoping it ends up where you want it to. However, this menu allows us to get a lot more precise so we can do things like the cursor snapping to the grid, cursor snapping to the selected object, move it back to the world origin, cursor to the active object, right? That's how this whole thing works, and it's pretty awesome. The th cool thing about this is you can also use this in conjunction with setting the origin of the object. So for example, say I've got a door here, and I can just move the cursor to the selection. Then I can type in set origin, move the origin to the 3D cursor. And now when I rotate, it rotates around where the hinges would be very uh, realistically you see now we can also do something like this by setting the pivot point to the 3d cursor which is another thing you can do and hopefully by now you're starting to see the potential for this i use it a ton in modeling right we can set origin to center of mass volume stick it back in the middle if you want that but then we can move the 3d cursor to that the selection we still get our super cool rotation. So I think, you know, that's pretty special. Now we can also, because we now have it in the middle and we're rotating around the 3D cursor, like that, obviously, we can move the 3D cursor to the selected object again. And then we can just, what is it, shift A. We can add in another thing to line up with the door. So say the door's got, I don't know, a little blast door reinforcement or something like that, right? So you can easily make things line up with this 3D cursor stuff with this Shift-S menu. It's just very useful. So that's the video for today. I hope you find this helpful. Remember, Shift-S, use it when modeling. It's freaking amazing. I always use it, and I love it. If you want more videos like this, like in this format rather than my regular format, make sure to comment down below if that's something you want to see. Otherwise, make sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel. I want to thank you all for watching, and have a great day.